Ninja Turtles have been around longer than even I have been alive, so it's safe to say they've had a number of comics that people probably should check out. Most people, myself included, probably got into them more in the cartoon form, but my dad also had a comic book shop, and he had the Ninja Turtles on the wall, and I had to check it out one day. And as soon as I read them as a kid, I was just like blown away because they were way more violent than the TV show was. And of course, the movie came out, and I was just in love with the green badass turtles from then on out. But what about the comics? Where do you begin? Well, I'm here to help you figure that out right now. So as always, I like to start with the runs, and where better to start than the classic TMNT comic? See, back in the 80s, we got two creators creating Ninja Turtles to kind of parody Daredevil, if you didn't know that, which is kind of funny, but also awesome in a way. The four brothers working together in a ninja-like unit fighting the hand, I, I mean, uh, Foot Clan, while taking uh, lessons from a gigantic talking rat. This is pretty much the peak 80s craziness that I absolutely love in comic books. This is awesome too to just jump back in time filled with all the 80s cheesiness and greatness that you come to expect. Plus, it's in black and white, though they did release a special colored edition if you didn't want to read that. But it's one of my favorite things to go back and read an origin. However, I don't always recommend the origins as a great stepping on point because sometimes they're so old, they just don't live up to the rest of the series. But in Ninja Turtles case, I do actually recommend their origin comics because they're original, they're fun. They still hold up relatively well for being in the 80s, and listen, it's for turtles being ninjas. Come on. My second choice would be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW series, the 2011 one. Probably the most successful series since the original. 2011 wanted to revamp and breathe life into the franchise that hadn't had a good comic in years. Luckily, the creators of the original were back at it, updated art with some badass redesigns. The turtles looked a little bit meaner, but slicker, and also kind of had that vibe of yo dude that I really love. And it wasn't over the top like the uh, movie. To find you, O'Neal. Yeah, we don't talk about that movie. And they had great storylines that sometimes they would take from the 80s and 90s and the original stories, but give them new twists and turns with some deaths that actually surprised me, as well as an excellent cast of side characters. Well worth noting, this series ran 100 issues, and that's fantastic, especially for a creator-owned series. Fans of the old cartoon or the new fans or people who have never read Ninja Turtles, this is a great jumping on point and probably the best like ongoing jumping on series if you don't mind 100 issues now if 100 issues is too much you could jump into teenage mutant ninja turtles which is the continuation from 2011 with issue 101 or if you're correcting the uh, trade paperbacks it's the new volume one so this is a brand new writer taking over sophia campbell and it's a lot of fun to introduce a fifth member to this team if you ever felt like the Ninja Turtles were lacking a bit more female characters, they basically making only two notable good characters in the 2011 series that were female and one villainous female character, this gives us a Ninja Turtle who's female, Genicus, who is the fifth member and a badass. This makes for some really fun new dynamics and even more great fight scenes, because what's better than four turtles fighting? Five turtles, that's right. While not as strong as the 2011 series for me, it's still really enjoyable, and I welcome it for new readers because it's a great jumping on point. You can kind of get right into it without feeling too lost, and you don't have to read 100 issues if that's too much. And my number one pick for just standalone is something I reviewed recently, which is Ninja Turtles Last Ronin. This is the epic farewell and goodbye, in a sense, the, the end-all stories, the old man Logan stories of Ninja Turtles, and it worked really well. It basically has one remaining turtle who's alive after the others have perished, and he has to kind of make his way through hell with hordes of enemies and basically a futuristic... Uh, empire who grew from the loss of his brothers and father and he has to stop them and it's a great character growth journey a good goodbye to the ninja turtles and just a solid story altogether with a little bit more violence than i expected but actually enjoyed so as i said in my review it's one of my favorite ninja turtle stories and you could just read it alone without reading anything else so that's great to be a standalone the only other series i mentioned i'm not going to talk too long about it because i talked about it a lot in my power rangers videos is power rangers and ninja turtles the story where they cross over it's a lot of fun great stuff 
I do recommend it. If you want a little bit more info, you can watch that Power Rangers video. And that's it for my Ninja Turtles recommendations of where to start reading. Now, there's a lot of great Ninja Turtles stuff to read. I'm talking about right here. If you just read what I mentioned, we're talking about over maybe 200 issues worth of Ninja Turtles. That's a lot of Ninja Turtles, my friends, and they're all available. You can buy all these right now. Nothing is out of print, which is the best part about it. Now, going back and reading these, uh, I absolutely love Ninja Turtles. I love Ninja Turtles because it has a place in my heart as a kid. It was my first major cartoon that I got invested in as a, like a three-year-old. Uh, that's all I watched, apparently, my parents told me when I was growing up. And uh, I still have a lot of fond memories, and I could even stomach the newer movies somehow. Uh, kinda but these comics are all worth reading go check them out if you have any recommendations that i didn't mention please list them below maybe i haven't read them myself and i should check them out i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did you know hit the like button if you love me hit the subscribe button and if you want more content like this well stay tuned we got plenty more coming out soon